welcome to week five of your creative self uh we're as far as that look building your networks this course as you know is called your creative self your creative self what we normally talk about is about digging deep so that you can bring your amazingness to the world that's how i think of that but today we're thinking more about community so your creative community is about a two-way system where you can bring your amazing things to everybody else and they can bring inspiration, ideas, and nourishment to you. It's not just about like firing stuff out at people in the hope that they pay attention. The more it's like a conversation or something kind of nourishing and two-way, the better. So it's like you're sending stuff out, fling, 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 hoping that people are going to connect with it and find it interesting or, or find something in it that they relate to. You don't necessarily know what that's going to be. Awkward looking cheese and wine party. I thought maybe a nicer metaphor for a kind of creative community or, or for networks, though it's a very you-centered one because you is the, is the eggs or we could have a cute little chick in the middle. I did think this morning, I should have a nest with a cute little chick in it, shouldn't I? And then the things around you are all the supportive everythings, like all of the connections that you might have in the broader community. You'll develop a community by showing your process and people are interested in your process. And so you get added to their community and become part of it because you're able to have conversations about process. I've seen your Instagram behavior. Lots of little things, a lot is the way to go, isn't it? Then you've got a little bit of something to, to start a conversation on. Or they might say yes, and that can be good. Very detail oriented. Yes, Rachel, hello. Um I reached out to a coworker of mine who does beats and music and all that, because I'm more of like melody and lyrics, a punk rock sound. Well, we know what we don't want, so that's important. <laughs> so you need more garlic in it now, is that right? It's it's all learning, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and somebody said I should do fall vegetables. So I ended up doing fruits and veggies. That's just kind of how it went, but it was the direction that I don't usually do, and I was kind of happy with it. So. <laughs> I don't know if that works. When you're like making things for people, you have to like sit down and have like such a good conversation with them beforehand to be mm -hmm. like, what is it you want? Because otherwise you're going to make something and be like, this is what I like. And then they're just going to send it back to you 20 times and be like, oh, this change, this change that. That's why they're a really weird assortment. There's peas, pears, and a radish. I think I don't like radish. Within a community of people, try to help people out from time to time. Be useful. Become noticed as a person that can offer helpful bits of advice that kind of thing it sounds corny but it's the only thing that works stay true to yourself do the thing that you know that you can do that is good that is stems from kind of passions of yours that you personally think is great uh you don't have to worry about what everybody else is doing do the thing that you think is the thing to do here's an activity or draw a picture of your face I've contradicted my own advice already so what would you like your community to provide new ways to do things, new ideas about anything, really, that'd be good. So I put a little picture of myself in the middle, and then um, I decided to write a constant learning, which I thought was really important, um, encouragement and motivation, um, support and my honest self, which is really important, I think, because um, I don't want people to just support me for um, something that I'm not. And then another thing that I thought was the most important was um, feedback on how it can be better. I'm just making it work to the best of my abilities and we'll That's go from good. there and we'll see what happens. Fusible fleece. This fabric cutter was $40. If you don't want to buy a mat, just buy a big piece of masonite. You I don't know, know I'm writing this down. I really appreciate it. People don't mind, people quite like it. You know, it's quite interesting if somebody shows wants you to actually attend to their creative thing and, and make some comments. Watch out for the gloomy puddle, people. Yes. One thing that I find does help for getting constructive feedback is always letting that person know that, like, just tell me how it is. Like, I'm not going to take it as an offensive thing. Yeah, like, if you spread positivity, positivity comes back to you, right? Oh, my God, this is so funny. I literally self-destruct every second. I don't know. I don't know what this whole aesthetic is. It's just, it's just different, you know? It's pretty crazy, pretty funky. Aries, I love Aries. Um, I'm not an Aries, but I feel like they give off like a very intimidating, fiery vibe. Right. And I'm going to mail them to everyone who's involved. And I can mail one to you if you would like. Cool. Yes. I want one. Well, I've got lots of tiny little windows. All I can see is somebody going like that. It looked like you're coming up with some Gemini-ish scheme. No work. Opposite Gemini, Sagittarius. Oh, okay. I don't know anything about this. I'm going to move on. <laughs>
<laughs> using pronouns to make people comfortable in a workplace, writing inclusive job descriptions, creating a really diverse community and um, being as diverse as possible. And if you look around your workplace and you see that a lot of people are the same to maybe make a change and notice that. So yeah, I've had a, a, a nice story about somebody kind of starting out just doing assorted scrappy kind of things, seeing what works. And I like the story about sort of starting a record label without really even knowing what a record label was and not quite, not, not quite being a record label, but just doing, making records at least because they thought it would be fun and it'd be nice to be connected to these bands and to design some stuff and to get noticed, all of which work. And they had this creative um, sort of vision and they just kept going after it, but tried different things too, right? And that idea of being open, but also trying different things. That's it. I'll see you next week.